Hello and welcome to episode 31 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here, cycle 38, day 18. Near the beginning of a nine day drought, and we have plenty still left to do, despite it being episode 31. Uh, we have a little bit more to do up at the top, getting the last of our tributes to ingenuity in place. And uh, we've got some more uh, entertainment stuff to put in that we haven't really done too much with. We do have some mud baths that are currently sitting empty with no dirt, just a little bit of water down at the bottom. Because they're uh, actually submerged. Kind of, a little bit. But the mud will show through once the uh, mud actually exists. Because right now we only have 178 dirt because we have not had any excavation happening since... Oh, let's see. Was it this corner? I think it was this corner had the, uh, the dirt excavator in there. But we, we got rid of that, I don't know. 15 episodes ago at least and this is pretty much all the dirt that exists on the map right now so we got to find a place to put a dirt excavator as well as take care of some other stuff uh, we also last time started the process of putting in another set of uh well, i guess you can call them power wheels over here got a couple suggestions in the comments to create a continuously flowing power with the help of i can't even find these to click on them uh, these bad water sources getting capped with the uh, bad water discharges. And I'm not entirely sure I can figure out how to do it uh, from text descriptions. You know you know the drill at this point. I work much better with the visual interpretation than anything written. But that is not your fault, and I'm never gonna get mad at you for suggesting ideas. I just don't know that I can actually put it together the way that you guys are envisioning it in your, uh, in your comments. But we'll see, probably not this episode, judging by how long it's taking to get stuff done over here. But we will be getting there, as well as I'm going to make a concerted effort this episode to get trains up and running. Can't promise yet, but uh, we have most of the track complete, minus this corner. And then I believe a little bit over here as well, because the uh, beavers cannot physically get to it. Because of all of this scrap metal we have not yet harvested. So we got to get on, uh, on with that. We don't have enough metal storage, it seems to uh, truly make that possible. So we might have to build a little bit more and see what we can do with that. But if we get the trains set up, uh, then that also means that this corner that currently is full of scrap metal is going to become, well, not this corner, the other one. I had my corners wrong. Uh, this corner, which is more full of scrap metal, is gonna become the next district, which of course, as voted in the poll, will be Beaverwood Forest, uh, district four, technically, I guess. Uh, but uh, what we'll be doing is we'll have the train uh, carry items around the outside of the middle ring. Specifically, uh, we have over here now producing some grease. We'll be distributing that around as well as uh, various other things that the train decides it wants to take. But we got to get there. And there's a lot of stuff that's got to get done. We're definitely in the part of the playthrough where it really starts to slow down unfortunately, but that's just the way it goes. We can't possibly do everything all at once, all the time, especially when we get this far into everything. So right now we have 32 open jobs, 32 open jobs in Body McBotville. So we, we need to get the bot production cranked up. Uh, but for that to really be possible, we got to make sure we have all of the stuff that the bots uh, actually have to have to be built. And Yes, we kind of do, but we also kind of don't. And I was trying to decide last episode, we mentioned, uh, do I want to build another set of, well, this entire thing right here, but flipped and put on this side, and I just don't know. I am not convinced that's what we necessarily need to do. Uh, if I always forget what side this is on. It's on the inside. Uh, if we were to do that, then all of this is currently in the way. I know it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, but it is nice when it is. We just have to figure out exactly what we're going to get ourselves into. I kind of personally want to just keep building all of this stuff over on this side, but we are producing a whole bunch of gears and we have some planks coming up here as well. So... There is an argument to be made for having another set of uh, bot constructors over here. And I think, honestly, that's probably the best place for them. We just don't really have a perfect uh, perfect setup for all this. But 
we got to do it anyway. So let's go ahead and get this uh, going here. So these guys will stop trekking all the way over to this side to put in these dirt blocks. And we'll keep doing what we're doing. Now we have 12,000 science. We have not unpaused the bridges. We do need to go around and do that. So we'll do that real quick. Uh, see just how much science usage is actually uh, being taken with all of our bridges here. Because again, this is this is part of a mod. It's a, it's a mod for a mod. It's integrated with the train mod and also uses elements of, I believe it's uh, pathway extension or something that gives us these uh, steel bridges. So the, the solution for this being a, a super convenient item uh, was to make it consume science actively. So that's why it does that if you were not familiar with that. But we just need to make sure, one, that I can click on the correct thing and two, that we can have everything uh, supported with our science output. We might need to build a couple more, a couple more number crunchers. Well, I think that's everything. If our number reliably keeps increasing, I think we're okay. That's 12307. That says, nope, it's going down. <laughs> Is it? No, okay, no, it's going up. It's just going up in chunks. It's kind of a cursed way to say it, but uh, that is currently, currently working. Let's also not forget that we're going to plant some trees here, but we don't have enough... <laughs> We don't have enough bots to get this filled up, so I am going to go ahead and put somebody in here. Wow, 735 bots created. That's a lot. At the very least, 735 that we've cycled through. But um, I'm going to get this filled up so we can at least start planting trees because uh, we are going to need some more wood if we're going to be doing all this. And not only that, but we need more power, and that's part of why we're doing that. Our power production right now is nil because there's no water flowing. We're in a drought. But fortunately... We have these framed flywheels that are uh, currently about two-thirds uh, still full of energy. Unfortunately, we are more than two-thirds left of the drought. That doesn't make sense. You know, you know what I'm getting at. So uh, what I'm going to do... Wow. Yeah, that takes a lot of power. So we're going we're gonna to pause these guys, our, our beavers here. Pause them. That saves us a lot of power just like that. But these things are also using a bunch of power. And who am I to deprive beavers of the uh, the right to float in the air and, I don't know, maybe not fall and split their heads open? We, we, we just, we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on and we got to gotta figure something out here. But we do have the engines in place and they are all operating. I probably should have all of these set to uh, never stop. Yeah, I know we did, and I, I complained incessantly about this sound just constantly repeating, but all of these are set to never stop. So I guess I should check the other side. Oh, we haven't built them over here. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. We will be okay. Yeah, okay, we, we still have net positive science, so that's good. But when we start putting in the, um, what are these things called, control towers? Upstairs, that's going to start being a problem. Yeah, so we we quite literally cannot do this fast enough. All right, and of of course I know the the bot part factories and the assemblers are going to use a lot of power, but we're working on it. We're working on it. I'm going to put uh, to start with these three right here, and then we'll have three more, and then well, I guess it doesn't really matter to have the uh, power coming down the side, but we uh, we will need to have access to do uh, I guess the rest of this. I'll just leave that one open. So that will go here and here pretty much perfectly. What we had over here was we just put the assemblers on top and I think that's what we're gonna keep doing. Uh, we can put a couple of the engines on top as well. I know it's not symmetrical, but I'm normally the only one that really complains that much about it. So I guess I shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too worried about it. All right, so that's gonna work. They're gonna get the rest of that taken out. We'll put this last one in. Put the other things on top, and in theory, I know not in practicality, but in theory that should double our capacity to produce bots. It'll just have to get there when it gets there. So chassis here, chassis here. I'll put limbs here because those are the most demanding to uh, get made. And then heads in the middle. And across the way, uh, I'm not going to have this entire thing populated across the way with the large industrial piles because we do have to have power communicated past here, but... I will go ahead. Oh, never mind. I will not because I have berry bushes in the way. 
So let's get rid of those. Yeah, but all the parts that need to go in here to make the chassis and everything uh, are as follows. Planks, metal blocks, and gears. That's it. That's every part for the bot. So as long as we have enough capacity in here to store what we need to store, I think we're going to be fine. So we'll put planks here. That one thing. There we go. That's done. Planks there. Planks there. We'll put planks here. Planks here. Or not planks here. Metal blocks here. I'm sorry. And then this middle one is going to be a 1200 size storage of gears. And of course we can double stack these. Uh, remember these are only 180 a piece. So it's not really going to be equal storage. But you, you know the idea. We'll, we'll get everything where it needs to go, and then we'll have something here that can transfer power. And then I believe uh, we're not going to have any issues putting in the uh, staircases as ladders, as long as we go maybe right here, right here, and then right here as well. I believe that should take care of most of our problems. Should take care of most of them. We'll see what happens. Uh, but this will, of course, need to go all the way across. Have a pathway between, and then we'll do the same thing on top. It's probably not exactly how we did it last time on the other side, but uh, I think it's going to be fine. Then, of course, like we said, we're going to have our uh, bot assemblers. Four of them. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, why are these not set to employ bots? That's actually really dumb. I thought I had set that. Why is... Oh, it's because it's not connected by paths. That's exactly what the problem is. Okay. Engine on top. Engine on top. That will work just fine. We'll put, for continuity's sake, one of those right there. And then that's going to work A-OK. -okay. Pre-tick the never stop the generator sign so I don't have to listen to that sound two times. That's going to work great. And then since we're on top here... We actually, uh, I don't think did this on the other side, but I'm going to go ahead and have storage for different bot parts up on top of these things, I think would be fine right here because we have to have the heads, we have to have the chassis, we have to have the limbs. And if I just have big old storages of all those things over here, that's going to be fine. Now, I'm not talking about the large warehouse size storages, but just some of this right here. I'll, I will make two for the limbs. Don't worry. Do not worry. We'll get that taken care of. Right in the middle. One for chassis, one for heads. It's just all in the name of making sure stuff's taken care of, ready to go at a moment's notice, and they can take care of all that. So we just have to figure out how to power all of it, because that's going to be a huge additional power draw. Of course, uh, once the water's actually back, then we'll be in good shape. I think... Realistically, we might end up just putting um, a bunch of engines in over here. We do have storage for logs and planks and everything right in this general area, so I'm not worried about that being a problem. We just have to have plenty of trees. And right now, this is not full. When it is full, this should be pretty, uh, should be pretty irrigated over here. Do I have somebody in here? I do not, because nobody is, of course. I'm going to leave a space around the outside uh, to take care of uh, not having uh, the bad water. When that comes in, this one side will be poisoned, and we don't want to have to deal with that. I think that's square. If it's not, well, I don't care. <laughs> it's going to be fine. We just need to have more bots with a quickness. There's just not enough. Also, it's not connected by paths because we uh, don't have these ladders built yet. But that's fine. They're going to take their sweet time doing it, and we will let them. Yeah, so that's looking fine. Uh, we should check our power storage first before we go and do... Ooh, we're under half. All right. So this is the part where I get to be the bad, the unfun one. And I get to pause all of our... Oh, did you see the beaver fall down? Hold on. Is somebody actually floating on this? All right, let's, let's pause to see what happens. They just go, shoom. Yeah, but th these are taking so much power. And uh, we got we to gotta just dump it. Just pause them. Because they are hemorrhaging our current battery storage. 
And I think there is one more. Yeah, there's one more quartet of these over here. Sorry, playtime's over. You got to go do something else. I don't make the rules, except I literally do. But shh, it's fine. Let's check that discharge rate. Okay, we got 103 hours. That is um, not 5.4 days. But what we can also do is we can pause some number crunchers. We do have 12,000 science. That'll save us 2,000. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Now we're good. Theoretically. Maybe we can start running some of these uh, part factories. So let's take a look at how our jobs are organized here in Body McBotville and what's important, what's not. We got bot assemblers. Yep, objectively those are important. Uh, the bot part factories are important, but not all of them are finished being constructed. Builder's hut. Yeah, currently important. Centrifuges. How much uh, do we? Oh, we got fifteen hundred. Okay, but we are we are kind of going through it. So. Probably should keep at least one of those going, but I will go ahead and... Oh, they don't even have anybody staffing them anyway. All right. Never mind. Uh, the bad water pumps... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause. Let's pause all but two of those for right now. District center doesn't really have to be super uh, prioritized, but I guess I want to make sure I had builders at all times. District crossings. Those are important. Explosives factories. Nobody's working there anyway. That might explain why the other thing didn't get done. Uh, gear workshop. See, this is the problem is we need all these. Grease factories. Okay, we've got two of them not working anyway. Hauling post, super prioritized. Yeah, that's probably important. Smelters, also important. See, I don't. we can't really spare any bots. We just have too much important stuff going on. So, Oh, we have so much. We have so much. I'm going to pause both of these. <laughs> we have so much bad water. That is not a problem. Not a problem whatsoever. In Greece, we still only have 7, 9, 11 Greece. Yeah, it's um, it's it's getting rough out here. How many, how many bots do we have up here? Oh, I've got six extras. Why is that? Did I accidentally have too many, or is that because the uh, the dump is paused? Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, I made my minimum 190. Okay, well, now the minimum is 184, which is what we actually need. So, Body McBotville is going to get... Can I click, please? Thank you. It's going to get six of those back. We'll just uh, we'll just say that's that. What about up here in the district proper? Four extra bots. Uh, is that because of anything that is paused, or is that just because I can't do math? I think it's because I can't do math. So, uh, how many jobs do I actually have? 46, okay. Yeah, you know, you might you might be laughing at this, but every little bit counts, especially when you have not nearly enough bots. So now we should have, oh, we only have 21 empty, empty spots. Do I have all the paths connected? Maybe I do. But they're still not gonna be working all these different jobs anyway. Got cures going in here. Um, yeah, we have uh, kind of a disturbingly low amount of planks. Okay, so this is paused. All right, I need to get somebody to at least come plant trees. At least plant the trees. And then I can leave them alone because they just have to grow. It's not going to be a problem. These guys aren't staffed and they shouldn't be. At least not right now. All right, yeah. Okay, plant your, plant your trees, Beardbot 753. Get your work done. We'll work on it. This is not going to go anywhere until we have some more dynamite. And how are we looking in the corner here that doesn't have the rails? I mean, I guess... I guess I should probably just go ahead and have them build this. We'll just move the, the path all the way down here so they can reach it. And just get that done. That'll use a little bit of our scrap metal as well. Uh, yeah, this corner also has not been built for the exact same reason. So we'll just... Uh, Get that in place. They just gotta get rid of this scrap metal, man. <laughs> they got so much going on. Yeah, let's just get the rest of this taken care of. Is there one of those corner pieces I'd taken out and not put back in? I think I think it was fine. We have the scrap metal mine down here, but um, there's so much scrap metal left up here, we don't need to worry about it yet. Actually, hold on. 
We haven't researched it. Let's do that before we run out of science, if we run out of science. Uh, we do need to build this, but I need the gears much more right now. I just wanted to make sure that was unlocked. That's fine. This scrap metal is about gone, which means that'll free up six jobs. In fact, right now, why don't I just go ahead, take three of those away and have them go do something else because we can always import scrap metal from up here and we probably should be doing that anyway. There is remaining in this, okay, there's a couple hundred in here, maybe four or 500. That's probably okay. We're making parts. We have tons of chassis. We just need to get the, uh, need to get the limbs up. We need to get the assemblers up because these are waiting on metal blocks, gears, and planks, which we, planks are going to be a problem. Planks are going to be a problem. So just for right now, just for right now, I'm going to pause these six uh, gear factories, workshops. I always call these things the wrong name. Uh, pause those, get those bots into something else, and save some of our planks because we, we have a lot of gears. We just need to, uh, I don't know, get some more stuff figured out. Don't tell me these guys are over here now. Uh, no, 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 no. You can go do something else. No, do not spend your time over here. Yeah, okay, they're building this one first. That works. Hopefully we can start assembling some more bots. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this engine jump the queue just a bit. So that can get constructed. We can start burning some logs to make a little bit more power. Got th about half the drought left. How's our reserves looking? Okay. Well, compared to where they were at the beginning, it's not great, but... Um, our discharge rate is looking pretty favorable. Not perfect, but it's going to be, I think, close enough for it not to be an issue. Yeah, see, now now we don't have enough bots, but I think... So you got three heads. Yeah, I think we want to wait a little bit before we start actually assembling more so we can get some materials saved up. But that's why these are all... Well, they're probably not all operating at this exact moment, but we're getting there. Baby steps, little pieces. Let's come around to the corner here. Okay, so what has not been built? The closest stuff has not been, oh. This doesn't even connect, I'm an idiot, all right. Film at 11, water is wet. Um. Oh man, you remember that huge debate on the internet? Maybe like five years ago, somebody posted a video about water is wet. And then someone said, water is not wet. And then there's this whole discourse in these stupid YouTube videos about, well, to say that something is wet means that the water on the surface of the thing can be removed. And you can't remove water from the surface of water because it's water and it's always going to be water. And then it's like, all right, it's time to touch grass <laughs> is what is what that means. But um, I don't know. I just always thought that was kind of funny. It's like one of those debates. Uh, I lived in a house in college with, uh, <laughs> with, with a bunch of my friends from band. And we did uh, we had a debate one day. It's how do you throw away a trash can? Which, you know, seems kind of like a stupid question, but then you think about it. If, if you live in a municipality that does not distribute a specific trash can to you for the purpose of putting trash in, and you have to supply your own trash can, like you go to the Home Depot or I don't know what you guys call it in other countries, what other stores you have, the home supply store, and you purchase a large wheeled trash can, and you decide... The one day you're done with the trash can, how do you throw it away if it's the trash can that the garbage collectors come by and remove the bags from when the garbage collection service occurs? If you decide you're done with the trash can, do you put a sign on it that says, I'm trash, come and pick me up as garbage? Or do you go in and you cut it in pieces and then you put it in a trash bag and put it in another trash can? I don't know. We thought it was hilarious. So if you have a theory... Or you know how to throw away a trash can. I'd, I'd love to see that in the in the comments. We, 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 had a, we had a blast just laughing at the stupid logic, uh, circular reasoning we'd get ourselves into with that one. But uh, I digress. We uh, we got to get the rest of these train things put in so we can, we can finish this thing. So right here, we're going to decide where we're going to put our train station to go in. We have the waiting station, which is just like the holding track. And then we have the goods station. The passenger station was removed. Uh, because that functionality had some errors with it. This is basically just teleporting beavers halfway across the map. But we can put the goods station in here. We can have a bypass track. We can just leave this guy like so. 
probably honestly the best option is just to have a bypass track. Um, but I believe if we did that, we'd want to have, I mean, it doesn't really matter. There's a couple different switching mechanisms we can get ourselves into. Uh, but we'd want it to make sure it was a separate thing where they could just kind of wait somewhere. So if we had, see, that's going to be four to the side. I think that's what we want. So we have a switch track. Uh, we can flip flop however you want. Obviously, we have to remove some stuff on the outside to put that in there, but we can put that there then rotate, flip it again. And then we just have to, if we want to isolate this as a separate thing, just leave a space here and then have the, uh, the track be isolated appropriately. But that was what we would be doing here, as we'd put this in, and then once it's built, we'd mark it as a uh, separate area. So the, this is just completely offset, and a train can bypass if it wants to. Not that it probably would ever need to, but I think this is probably the cleanest way to do it. And then, of course, we have this connected with a path. We can have some storage, if we want, of the stuff that's going to go around. But we're not entirely sure what that's going to be yet, so I figured we could just kind of fill it out, see what happens, and then move on with our lives. I will go ahead and get rid of these three here and these three here uh, so we can come in and put our switch tracks in place. Uh, you can also do this, to be clear, in this mod. You don't need the switch track. I just like how it looks. You can put the T intersection and it does the same thing. You just have to specify that something is or is not a, uh, a track for it to... Uh, be held on. Actually, you know, the switch track might actually have that built into it. I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've run trains in this mod, and there's been some changes. So we'll see what happens. We'll just get that put in place. We will also need uh, somewhere to have a uh, train yard, and uh, that will probably also need to be on one of those as well. So what if... Which side has the, uh, the entrance pathway on? I think like this? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll put this like so. And then we'll have the um, approach track like that. And then we'll come into the corner. And we'll put a switch in just like so. It just looks nice that way, I think. Rotate like that. Isn't that lovely? Nice and uh, tucked into the corner there. I think they can reach all that. All right. Mmm, yes, lag, my favorite. Let's come back down here. Oh, we have all these built. Cool. Uh, they are not drawing power because they are not being used. I uh, got two and a half days left. How are we looking on power reserves? Okay, we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. And if we weren't, then I would just pause more of the uh the what do you call them? Number crunchers. Still planting trees. This guy's going a little slower than I thought he would. I think this is the first one he planted, it's already five percent of the way done. Which isn't much, but it is, you know, a 30-day tree growth. Yeah, they still haven't put anything here because we <laughs> kind of ran out of uh, ran out of dynamite there. So I think now... See, I still only have six heads. So I'm going to go ahead... Ha, go ahead and uh, make that a priority building prioritized by haulers. I probably should have prioritized all these by haulers in the first place. But we do only have ten. So I will have this guy go ahead, or these two, go ahead and start making more bots. We just can't go too fast, or we're going to run out of parts before we can catch up with the actual production side of things. So we should probably check all these. Being stocked, I mean, we don't have enough haulers really to do all this. We should build another hauling post, but we need more bots to do it, which means we need these staffed and operating. So, you know, it's kind of a, uh, kind of a self-repeating problem. That makes sense. All right, uh, which corner was it? Was it this corner? Yes. All right, so now we have good station in place. And see, this is all one continuous circuit, so it was not separated. Let's make that the dividing sections, and then we'll do the same thing over here. So now this is its own separate thing. We have the, uh, the green flag signal going this way, which means that the train can only go this way. And then I think for the purpose of separating the blocks... I will make this a uh, separate section change direction. There we go. All right, and this needs to have a path going to it. And then once we amass uh, planks and scrap metal in here and somebody staffs it, uh, we can make a train. 
they will go ahead and supply this eventually. But uh, I believe once this is a full circuit, the train will go because uh, I've, I've decided it's going to go counterclockwise. Oh, that's so cool. You look straight down the line like that. That is nice. But yeah, we'll get that going. Down to one head. Okay, so they're missing these three pieces. This is not going to be the uh, the one where the station is, so I guess we can just go ahead and pop that. I'm so glad I can put the path here in the corner. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tobert, for fixing this. Tobert's the, the person who made the mod. Uh, it, is, it is so nice to be able to build into the corner, even if we don't really need to use it that much. It's going to be nice to have. Yeah, see, this is the problem. This is why I had not made uh, the train before, is because this was uh, supposed to be the uh, the other district here. Which I guess we still can do. We just have this set up in a way that is not exactly, uh, not exactly ideal. I don't need a train yard on this other side of the map, so I think we can leave this alone. But as soon as we have these other track pieces put in, uh, I will put in a good station over here. And then we can decide how we want to have this separated. I think the best course of action is going to be uh, to just have a, uh, a gate maybe here-ish. One gate here-ish, and then... Um, so that's really the only thing that directly connects these two districts is this path. Or this district in the soon-to-be new district is this path right here. And then on the other side, we'd have to do the same thing. Actually, no, it's this corner. I was wrong. This corner is the one we have to put a, a path crossing thing in. So I guess maybe right here we'd make one of those little district gates. Or actually, we don't even have to have them connect it with the district gate at all because that's what the train's for. Boy, it's really dangerous when I don't remember where I am here. Okay, this is all built. Yes, all right. So now we got to come back in here and we got to put the fun stuff in. So what is the center? It doesn't really matter where the center is. No, it doesn't. But I'm still going to debate about it here. So let's do, see, I got four, five. I think this is, uh, yeah, that's, that's the correct spot. Oh, I didn't need to get rid of that one. Oops. It's fine. We got plenty of scrap metal. Not going to lose any sleep over it. So that will go there. Then these three are the ones that are supposed to get removed. And then this gets flipped and rotated. Yeah, then we can get all this taken care of. Put a path in here. And it's still going to show up as Woody McWoodville until we actually make this a separate district. But we're getting there. All of you asking in the comments, where are the trains? Where are the trains? I hear you. I see you. We are trying our, we are trying our best. It just takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time when you got a map this big and you got this much stuff going on. Yeah, they're still planting, still planting trees, and this one's almost 10% done. It is a process, friends. A very, very large process. We do still have charge. We only have 1.2 days left, so that's going to be fine. We really want to make sure these charge up, though, so I'm probably going to... Uh, probably going to just go ahead and... Well, I won't do it until the, uh, until the uh, drought actually ends. But I'm going to pause all these number crunchers, because we have enough science to run those uh, control towers for a while. Just, uh, just off of that. So we'll get that taken care of. We still have tons of bad water. We have not missed that in the slightest. 19 empty jobs, probably a lot of them are right here, but we are in fact making bots just a tiny bit faster. It's all stuff that takes time. Okay, so that is the, oh, this is actually looking pretty good here. Uh, You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of the scrap. We already have way too much scrap metal, that's fine. Get that built here, get that finished. There we go, and then I can put this last piece in. Get that done, and then we'll be in pretty good shape. Hopefully, as long as they come finish this. Yeah, they haven't even started that. Oh, come on, come on, finish this thing, let's go. We got stuff to do. 
Okie dokie. So that's dividing sections. Still going the correct way. And then I said uh, this was going to be the dividing on there. And now we have two separate sections. And then this one divided as well. Okay, cool. So now I don't think I can zoom out far enough to show you without going into dev mode. But uh, this entire half between stations is now one block. Oh, I was, why is, why is this like this? Is there a reason I didn't have a track there? That's a crossing. Did we decide we're going to have a, uh, no, okay. All right, well, I'm glad I caught that then. It's no longer a uh, complete circle. We'll get that connected. Uh, I'm not planning on running a ton of trains on this. I think for right now, probably two is just fine. Uh, but we can go ahead and build a train. Mmm, that is a lot of lag clicking the build train button. Okay, so the train is built, and it is facing the wrong direction. Why Why are you the way that you are? Um, should I just, uh, yeah. I'll just swap the direction of travel, it's fine. Trey's going to go clockwise, but he's not going to go anywhere until he has somewhere to be. I think. All right, so let's, uh, let's go back around here and just flip this to clockwise. I didn't think it was going to come out that way. But it did, so that's fine. Uh, uh, um. Oh, I probably should have moved that, because I was trying to make it like an even split. I was trying to make that right there, but I guess that's fine. All right, where is Mr. Train? Right here. He's not going anywhere because he has no demand to take anything. And nothing is allowed to be distributed since we're going the other way. And they're the same district currently for right now. But when we do, uh, and the reason we have to have it separate districts is because the good stations, I mean, you can set them individually, but if it's if it's going to the same district and you move items, all you're doing is creating more work for the haulers. So, not exactly the, the best option here, but this specific station that we're in now, I think it's going to be smart for us to send Greece, which is up here. We can say allow sending right there. Because we're making the grease right here. That's fine. Uh, we can send grease. And then this station can receive grease. And they're loading it up. Oh, look, 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 look. Uh, no, 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 no. We got to follow the train. It is tradition. That is the way we work here. And since this is the grease train lag, we got to change them all to tank wagons to hold all the grease in the tanks. All right. I wish I could follow the train like a like a person. Wait, I can. Ha <laughs> ha. There's a little beaver in there. Driving the train around. It's like when we were streaming Transport Fever 2 earlier. We've got to follow the trains. But anyway, we'll just make our way around the outside. And head on over to the other station to deposit our grease. And then we will have uh, greased up bots over there. I just like the trains, man. <laughs> it's such a cool mod. Such a cool mod, and I'm, I'm really glad it works. There was, a, there was a period of time where it didn't, but it, it stopped. There's some grease in stock. There's four grease right there. Right there, man. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I like trains so much. Let's um, let's separate these into new districts. Oh, hey, the uh, the drought's almost done, by the way. That is going to become uh, district management. Small gate. Oh, I can't build it because it's not two di different districts. But that one's going to be there. This one corner is going to be here. We'll make. Oh, no, they're separated. How will we ever combine them with the power of trains? I pronounce you two separate districts. Uh, that guy's going to go there. Now it's not district four. It's Beaverwood Forest. Courtesy of Dorothy at Gone in our poll a week or two ago. But now we have a beautiful train station in Beaverwood Forest with which to receive grease. So we should see. Oh, look, here's that train chugging down the tracks. Gonna drop off some grease for us so we can get nice and greased up over here. Peanut Gallery, do not take that the wrong way. Yeah, 19 grease. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make ourselves a grease repository. How about a nice, large tank here for Greece? 
Or do I want it to be a large tank? Maybe I want it to be a, uh, a medium tank. A couple of those spread out. I don't know. For right now, I think right here with the grease should be fine. That will work out just fine. All right, and cycle 39 begins. And we cannot forget that now that these are separate districts, we will have to have water storage, which we pretty much only have on this side. So let's come around to this side right here. We'll do the exact same thing we did before. Just pop that in there, that in there, that in there, and then we will come right in and pop that in there and that in there. Of course, they're both going to be water. Right here, right here. Now all of these uh, water dumps can have, well, water. And the train's bringing grease, and there's 47 grease in stock. Someone has to come get it because there's not a tank. But we just have that one train. Honestly, do we need another? Probably not. This also um, is not block separated, so I will go ahead and do that. Just so we're not uh, going to cause any problems. Make another train, and it's ready to go. As soon as the block is unoccupied, that thing should... Uh... Ah, yes, we've created a monster. Um, I'm going to have to uh, separate that way there. So now they are genuinely separated. But now it's... Um... Wait, what? Okay, now this is the first train. Where did the, where did the engine go? That's... Um... Hmm... I don't know what happened with that, but I guess that um that works. We need to change this to uh, tank wagons. I don't have to have it stop to do that. But now that is the grease train, and now we're just why is it on this why is it on this track? That's gonna be that's gonna cause some weird problems if this thing's on a track like this by itself. I don't know. Maybe it's just waiting for the other train to leave before it has a chance to. I don't know. Maybe I will just um, remove this. That's its own separate deal. Why are you, why are you like this? Okay, where's where's the other train? If I just broke it by building the second train, that's going to be very sad. Okay, this guy he's he's got some uh, he's got some major slack action happening here. That's uh, a little bit uh a little bit sus, as the kids say. You know, break your neck when that thing catches back up. All right, train age one. Model big wooden small log. Wagon model tank wagons. I need you to figure your life out, or I'm going to have to delete you, and it's going to make me sad because it's our first train. Um, yeah, this guy's just going to be stuck here. All right. Goodbye. Very well. Let's uh, check and see if train one is... No, he's stuck. I don't know if this is actually a problem or not, but it is um, currently like this. Maybe there's just nothing for it to do. Maybe I just murdered two trains for no reason. That's another thing. Random, random anecdote. The, um, the Thomas the Tank Engine series was not just not just those movies or movies they're not movies not just the uh, the kids show that aired in the 90s I guess they're probably still making it I don't know uh, the one I watched was uh, narrated by oh, what was this so now I'm, I'm telling you the story and I can't remember the guy's name but there, there were a bunch of those things anyway uh, there's books they're based on books I imagine some of you are probably old enough to remember those uh, but in the books they have a lot of uh kind of disturbing like thought exercises in them about uh, like what happens to a, a locomotive when its wheels are removed and it's placed in a shed to be used as a power plant as a punishment it's like wow that's kind of that's kind of dark but anyway because you know that the, they're sentient they have they have allegedly apparently they have souls and they have feelings and this and that there so like what happens when you dismantle a train while it has feelings is that like a I don't know I don't want to think about it <laughs> that's kind of weird kind of messed up stuff but, well, for at least one moment, the trains worked. Why do I have 76 unemployed bots? 
Oh, I know why. <laughs> because I didn't fix my minimums. Okay, let's let's make let's make the minimum ninety in there. Oh, that that was about to be such a weird problem. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think that might have solved our problems here. Maybe. I've got 81. I've got nine extra. Really? Do I have an uneven number of jobs in this district versus the other one? I genuinely don't know. So I've got nine extra bots there. I got 45 extra bots. Why do I have so many extra bots? Did I do something wrong? The answer is almost certainly yes. But um, let's check our lines for our paths here. So that only goes there. Okay. How do I have 45 extra bots? Or is that because I just need to banish them to the other district? That's just weird. Yeah, I've got 153. Body Mc oh, Body McVotville is down to 39. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to raise the minimum. That's exactly what, that's exactly what happened. Wow. Okay, so it's it's going to equalize weird for a second, and then we'll get that all uh, all taken care of. That's what I was expecting to see. All right. Um. Oh yeah. I did say I was going to pause all these so we can generate some power. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get those things juiced up. Let's go. So we got stuff to do, man. Oh, hey, there's only this little tiny corner has been um, uh, infected yet. But I think that's probably because we're in single time speed. Because we got enamored with the train. As one does, understandably. Now I gotta figure out what in the world... Oh! I guess the train is uh, choo-chooing along. There it is. There it is. Look at it. Look at that thing. Beautiful coming right in the corner. Why does it go through? Okay, why, why is it going through here? It shouldn't be going through the train here. That's why. I will just go ahead and make this its own uh, its own section here. I didn't, I didn't think it should go through the train here, but I guess maybe it wants to. That's uh, allowed, I suppose. But I want to see if it does it again when it comes back this uh, this next time here. We just gotta wait for it to come around the corner, and then we'll see it come right down here. Let's see, what else were we gonna do? I said I was gonna turn the um, uh, the monuments and stuff back on. Don't go through the train yard. Ugh, all right, fine. I guess it just really wants to go through the train yard for some reason. Oh well, I can't stop it. That building has to be there so we can make more trains. I guess that's fine. So we're we're, we're literally only sending grease, but it is it is doing its job. We will at some point uh, expand what we're doing over here, but hey, we got uh, we got grease storage. It's it's doing its thing. Prioritized by haulers, get those things done. Uh, we have the ten haulers here. Do we have another one over here in this corner, or did I do a stupid? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Yeah, I said we we're gonna finish building the tributes to ingenuity up here, but um, they still have not finished all these. So I was trying to figure out exactly what was going on. And then I realized I was stupid, and I did not put the uh, the ladder all the way up to the top of this. That's that's why they haven't been doing that corner. And of course, uh, this one is much much further along. Looks like they got the power transfer mostly in place. So all I have to do now is come back in here and uh, put the actual shafts in. So I'll go like that, and then this piece will go like that. And that should connect perfectly to the universal shaft that's right there. And then when those two pieces are in, we'll put the final final little bit in. But we had to build it that uh, direction because, well, they uh, can't get into anything else if we do that. So that's going to be just fine. How are we looking elsewhere? I did say we're going to do mud baths too and an excavator. How could I forget? We're going to have to get uh, gonna have to get creative here, folks. Because excavators require power, and we have uh, we have some power, kind of in this area, 
but I was kind of thinking I wanted it to go uh, in the very uh, the very outside. Like we have like right here, all this space. We could grow some more trees, or we could find a place to put an excavator. We don't want to disrupt our our flow here of uh, water, bad water, etc. Man, they're still planting trees. Nineteen percent. I guess that's fine. I don't think he's going to plant these in this row here. And as the uh, as the cycle goes on, these on uh, look at the train go. Uh, these might die off as well. I don't know. We'll see. We we just have such a big map and so much going on. It's kind of impossible to just do one specific thing in any specific amount of time. But it is the way it is. That is what we signed up for. We still have plenty of science. We we cannot forget to turn these back on. Uh, to be clear, because we have uh. We have a lot of stuff that we got to take care of. But uh, my main goal was to try and charge these flywheels back up. We do have probably another uh, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, 13 days in the temperate cycle. So they should charge pretty nicely. We did, however, add a considerable load uh, with all of our new uh, bot assemblers. They are gradually getting staffed. It seems like uh, we're actually looking pretty good since I paused these six gear workshops. It's all looking, it's all looking fine. We're making progress. Ah, yes, these are definitely contaminated dying. Um, why is why 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 why? Okay, so uh, the theory that we had. I, I will not exclusively claim responsibility for this, and neither should any of you. But um, the theory we had about not needing to have <laughs> irrigation barriers here, absolute garbage. We have learned, and we are, yeah, it's, uh, it's bad news. Bad news for our trees. <laughs> very, very bad news. So, yeah, we're... Um, we're going to lose about half our trees that we have had growing for the past four or five days. So now this is absolute mission critical. Get these things built over here. So I guess that's what we're doing now. What a shame it had to end this way for those trees. But, you know, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Now let's get these builders down here. Yep, here, here comes our, our nasty trees. Nasty, disgusting trees. Yeah, let's replant the dead trees. And now, now they're carrying logs, and they've got they've got the treated planks, and they've got all that stuff. Bringing it in here. I'm hoping not all of these die, because that's going to be a huge pain in the butt, especially as this uh, contaminated water level continues to rise. But there's only so much, only so much we can do. We just got to get this whole thing built. You know, it's like they say, you got to keep them separated. And the M in here is these trees and this bad water. So keep them separated. Let's go. Uh, I'm just going to choose to walk away and let them do their thing. And we're not going to worry about it while we uh, continue evaluating our, our situation here. We have 12 open jobs. That's a big improvement. Uh, the number keeps going up, which is also good. Let's check in on our uh, middle districts here. 18 empty jobs. So where did all those jobs suddenly come from that weren't uh, a problem before? So I guess our our number should probably be closer to 105, 110 per. I don't know where those numbers came from, but 89 bots working, 18 job spots open. 71 working, 9 open, 19 incapacitated. Why are the... Do we just have that fewer uh, chargers? That's probably honestly exactly what it is. That is almost certainly exactly what the problem is, because we only have these three. Uh, why, did I, why did I do this? I absolutely did this to myself. All right. And here I am thinking, you know what? This episode's getting a little long. We probably should go ahead and wrap it up. Oh, what a fool am I. That's fine. It gives you guys excuses to make conspiracy theories in the comments. But we'll, uh... 
we'll get some chargers put in here. Because all these bots coming over here have to have something to do. And we still didn't build an excavator. i got to figure out where I'm going to put that. Astoundingly, we're not out of dirt yet, which is hilarious to me. I don't know exactly how that's even possible. Unless they just haven't been using these. So what's uh, what's up with that? Why is there no dirt in here? It really shouldn't be an issue. Like, am I, am I going to just have to prioritize, prioritize these by haulers for them to even use it at all? It just doesn't seem... Uh, it doesn't seem right that this doesn't have anything in it. Oh, oh, it is right outside the Motivatorium. Oh, so dinner and a show. I guess. Or you could call this the... Uh, I don't know, like these entertainment companies charge big bucks for stuff like this at concerts. Or if you go on a cruise or whatever and they have the... I don't know, they're all like water park casinos and stuff. Now you, it's kind of stressful as an introvert thinking about even doing something like that. But you, uh, you, you pay extra, you sit in the hot tub seats. Or who is it... Um, is it a uh, is it Tampa Bay and their NFL stadium has like a swimming pool or something? I don't know. It just all these crazy hybrid entertainment options. I just thought it was funny. But now we have uh, we got mud here. Thankfully, it hides the uh, the water, and these uh, beavers can come enjoy it if they so desire. Yeah, come come get charged up. Let's go make it happen, etc. We got plenty to get done here. Uh, let's see, I'll, I guess I'll just put 12 of these here. I know this can only power 8 technically at a time because it's 400 HP, but uh, I think it would be better to have access to all of these at the same time at slightly reduced speed so you can get more, more bots charged up faster. They will only use what they need to use, so that's fine. We got some grease coming in here. I think we're pretty much getting to the point now where it, we need to end the episode anyway for time. But uh, I guess that gives me the opportunity to ask you, where would you like to see the dirt excavator go? We can put it anywhere, we just have to figure out how to get power to it. So I guess you can ruminate on that one. And we can uh, sit here and enjoy watching the train go. I say as the train is nowhere in sight whatsoever. But uh, yeah, that's going to be where we end this one. Uh, of course, we'll have more of this on Thursday. And then a Prison Architect on uh, this upcoming Wednesday. And on Tuesday, back in the Penguins. As a reminder, no video tomorrow for Monday. Uh, but we're going to try and see what we can do about live streams. Get some other stuff done. we got Satisfactory we got to get back into. We've had a lot of fun with the Transport Fever 2. Uh, but that will not be a twice a week live stream thing anymore. Probably, probably later today we'll try to do a... Uh, uh, what's that game called? Satisfactory? Yeah, I literally just talked about it. Try to do a satisfactory stream, possibly, possibly later today as of the posting of this video. So hope to see you, as always, at the streams, but that's fine if you can't make it. We just hang out, have a good time, and then go about our lives as usual. But yeah, that is, that's it for this one. We got lots still to do. Some stuff we talked about getting done today we didn't get done, but the trains are operating, and that's a big one. Well, train singular is operating, but yeah, we'll get it figured out. And if you have any ideas for any like uh, architectural kind of thing that is not a frog or a beaver made out of damn pieces before, <laughs> before I get a bunch of those suggestions again. Tried that before. That did not go well. But uh, if you have any ideas for stuff you would like to see built as we enter the final phase of this playthrough, I'm all ears. I always read all the comments. So if you have any ideas, I would love to see those. But yeah, that is it. That is quite enough of my rambling. Appreciate you guys. As always, Beard Boosters as well. Their contributions make it possible for us to keep having all this fun and trying new things like the Penguin game and Transport Fever 2 and all that good stuff because there is more to life than beavers, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, we, we have fun regardless of whatever we end up doing, and I'm very thankful we get to share that with you. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.